speaking with political analyst John Dating about uh, that uh, particular race and several others this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let's talk about the, the, the District 6 in the city. You say, in, in your mind, it's really more important than the uh, uh, Congressional 52 when it comes to San Diego. Oh, absolutely. It's like the domino theory, you know, chips one over and it affects so many things. For example, when uh, Kevin Faulkner won the special election to become mayor, you know, because it's the eighth largest city, right away he was being touted nationally, you know, Republicans had an eye on him. If this had gone the other way, this one, this nine council district, mm -hmm. if this one council district had gone the other way last night, Mayor Faulkner's agenda would be thwarted for the next two years and be very frustrating for him. And then he goes for re-election in two years, not having been able to do anything because they would have had override majority. It was the most important race of the season. Let's talk about that a little more. And we emphasized this yesterday. Now it goes from 6-3 to 5-4. It's still leaning Democrat. But what it means is there'll be more room for conversation because that veto is not there lingering. That's exactly right, David. The, the, a couple points here. The Republicans now have, have leverage that, that they have to work. But let me give you a concrete example that really puts it in perspective. If it would have been this 5-4 uh, a few mo months ago yeah. uh, instead of the 6-3 that it was, we wouldn't have the minimum wage coming on the ballot in a year and a half. That's how, that's how important the coalitions and the majority makes a difference. But having said that, let's talk about how that our city council does get along for the most part. The, and for the most part, I've been, I've been in town 25 years. They get along better than any other council I've ever seen, cohesive. And I give a lot of credit to that. Leadership starts at the top. I give a lot of credit to the president of the council. That position was created mm -hmm. when the new uh, the strong mayor, former government. And Todd Gloria has ensured that he does listen to the Republican voices and concerns. Yeah, and in fact, Chris Kate says he's a good friend of Todd Gloria's. They will get along on most issues. But there will be those big issues, of course, where people aren't going to get along like the minimum wage. Yeah, you bet. And think of, think of when the council did not get along, who the council members were, Bob Filner and a few days. others. Wasn't that far what, long not ago? Not that long ago. All right, let's uh, switch gears, go down to Chula Vista. We had Mary Salas in this morning. Uh, uh, she won uh, by, by a decent margin over Jerry Rendon. What are your feelings about Chula Vista going forward? Again, I think what a lot of people in this region don't realize is, of course, we know city of San Diego, the eighth largest city, but Chula Vista is the second largest city in the region. So mm -hmm. it's a big powerhouse. And they've got so much going on down there. Development, environmental, coastal issues, etc. So Cheryl Cox has been in for eight years. And so Mary Salas will bring a new breath of fresh air into that office. And she has a complete different agenda than the uh, previous mayor. Yeah, uh, Cheryl Cox, uh, a fine job for eight years. Uh, what is your take on, on her legacy there? Fine, fine job. She had a couple of bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. uh, again, similar to what we're talking about, the San Diego City Council. She butted heads with a few council members on a couple of issues. I don't. Mary Salas, her background is former council member, former assemblywoman, so she knows how to build coalitions. I don't think you'll see that that give and take. She's lived there all her life as well. Yeah. Oh, ab yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so. She 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 is Miss Chula Vista, and th this is a dream come <laughs> true for her. I know Mary, and yeah. she's very very going to be very proud to be mayor of the she's, second largest city in the region. She's wanted to have that position for a long time. You now. betcha. All right, let's talk about uh, history and Jerry Brown right now. Well, again, uh, this will be his fourth term, but to give you a little political trivia, et cetera, think about this for a second. His father, of course, was governor, but his father was thwarted of going for a third term. So this is kind of a little, you know, uh, almost biblical, you know, going on with Jerry Brown, that he was able to do something nobody else in the history of California, a fourth term. Um, and i got to be honest with you, he's having fun. Uh, he, he's not going to run for president anymore. He's done that in the past. So he really is going to concentrate on his last four years as far as his legacy. Mm -hmm. He won decisively, except for here in San Diego County. Kashkar did very well. It was interesting last night, the results. Several people said to me, oh, look, Kashkari is winning. And I pointed out to him, those are only San <laughs> Diego San County Diego results. County. But yeah, uh, Kashkari, and he, Kashkari is an interesting character because he's made some comments about the future. But I got to be honest with you, he did one controversial commercial mm -hmm. uh, that a lot of people were saying were over the top. I think that's going to come back to haunt him as far as the political future. All right, uh, Escondido, uh, the uh, neighbors are happy that there won't be a, uh, a new development there on the golf course. They were upset about a development that looked like it was going through. They got this on the ballot and they stopped it. And that is, you know, an American democracy 101. That's the way it should be. Uh, but the developers spent a lot of money, uh, you know, uh, trying to get the, their, their win on this. And mm -hmm. so it's, uh, it's very tough. I don't know what the, uh, uh, what the future lies for that piece of land. All right. John Dadian, thank you very much for Good your comments. You. We appreciate it. All right.